So in this video, we're going to be discussing pediatric medication calculations. So what's the big deal? If you already know how to do adult medication cal calculations, how come uh, pediatric patients are done differently? Well, it basically comes down to the fact that there's much smaller uh, margin of error for, uh, for pediatric patients. And um, there's also a much greater variety of, of uh, different sizes of pediatric patients, like physical sizes. So like you can have like compare a one year old to an eight year old, like they're they're physically much different and it's going to require a much different amount of medication in order to treat whatever they have going on. So in this video, we're also going to discuss some things to remember. We're going to discuss the four steps you need to remember. And then we're going to run through a couple of practice questions. So some things to remember, most medication most medications for pediatric clients are done by weight. Few are done by surface area. So as opposed to an adult where it will just say, oh, give uh, 325 milligrams Tylenol, whatever. It will give you give a certain amount per a certain unit of weight per day. And uh, this is going to make more sense when we go into the example questions. And uh, another very important thing that you have to remember is that there are 2.2 2 pounds in a kilogram. That You're going to need to remember that because you're going to be converting from uh, pounds to kilograms quite frequently. So this is the four-step method. At, uh, the first step is always you have to convert pounds to kilograms because all orders are written in terms of kilograms. And if, you're, uh, if the question gives you a... Uh, a weight in pounds, you're, you're just going to have to convert it to kilograms immediately. Second step is to uh, calculate the dose in milligrams, which uh, we're going to do in the practice questions. Then um, sometimes doses are as you, as you just like adults, BID, TID, and you're going to divide the total amount the child gets by, uh, how, how, by the frequency. This is going to make more sense when we do the uh, practice questions. And then we're going to calculate, uh, just do a basic medication calculation as to how many milliliters or tablets the, the patient is actually going to get. So let's take a look at this first practice question. 1.5 year old child is prescribed an amoxicillin suspension. The dose is prescribed as, the, the dose prescribed is 40 milligrams per kilogram per day. So this is what the doctors prescribed, but he hasn't prescribed 40 milligrams. He's prescribed 40 milligrams per kilogram per day. So that's important to take note of. Divided into equal BID doses. So BID doses, so it's gonna be two doses in a day. The suspension is available in 400 milligrams per five milliliter suspension. That's going to be important as well. What is the dose in milliliters? This is basically what the question is asking for. And then it gives you, this question gives you the child's weight at the very end. So it's going to be 22 pounds. So step one is to convert from pounds to kilograms. So here, here's the most important information for this question. How do we do that? We uh, divide 20, 22 by 2.2 .2 because remember that there's 2.2 .2 pounds in a kilogram. So now we know the child weighs 10 kilograms. Very easy step. Uh, yeah. Okay, moving on to the second step. Calculate the dose in milligrams. So let's take a look at the question. As you can see here, the doctor is prescribed 40 milligrams per kilogram per day. So how we calculate the dose is we multiply 10 because the child weighs 10 kilograms. As you can see here, we did that in part one. So we're going to do 10 multiplied by the 40 milligrams per kilograms per day. So these are going to cross out and you're going to be left with 400 milligrams per day. And this is in the second step. So now we're on to the third step. And we've already calculated how much the patient is getting per day, but now we have to calculate how much the patient is getting per dose. And as you can see in this question, 
the do, do, dose is divided into BID, equal BID doses. So what does BID mean? BID means twice a day. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 400 divided by two, and that's going to give us 200 milligrams per dose. So this step is now just a simple medication calculation question, just as you would do for an adult. I have a full video dedicated to this step and uh, it's pretty much a prerequisite for, you have to learn adult calculations before you move on to pediatric clients. So now, but let's move forward with this step. So now we know that each dose, so there's gonna be two doses in a day, each dose is gonna be 200 milligrams. Here's the formula for how to calculate a dose. It's taken directly from the uh, the video. I'm gonna put a card up in the in the uh, somewhere around here. It'll pop up. Click on it if you don't understand this step. It'll it will uh, it will help make more sense. So we take the desired dose, which is what we want, 200 milligrams, and we're gonna divide it by the amount on hand. The amount on hand is 400 milligrams because the suspension is available in 400 milligrams per five milliliters. And we're gonna multiply it by the vehicle. And what is the vehicle? In this case, it's not tablets, but it's actually a liquid. And a liquid that comes in five milliliter units. So we're gonna multiply it by five, solve this math equation, and that's gonna give us our answer, 2.5 milliliters. One thing I wanna note is that the fact this 400 has nothing to do with this like there's no correlation it just happens to be the same same number this is 400 milligrams per day as a dose but this is the available suspension so if you're just barely paying attention here i don't want you matching up the numbers and just saying oh this goes here this goes there they're actually completely unrelated numbers they just happen to be the same So question two, uh, I'm going to give you a second to pause the video and uh, try this question for yourself. Okay, so now we're going to run through this question, but we're going, we're going to run through it a little bit faster. So convert from pounds to kilograms. Where is the child's weight? The child weighs 18 kilograms. Oh, okay. So this question already gives us the child's weight in kilograms. So we're not going to calculate the child's weight in uh, kilograms because it's already done for us. I wouldn't consider this skipping the step, but I would consider this uh, that the step is already done for us. Step two, calculate the dose in milligrams. So we're going to take the child's weight, 18 kilograms, and we're going to multiply it by the dose required. So the dose is written as this, 100 milligrams per kilogram per day. So we're going to do 18 multiplied by this. Obviously the kilograms are going to cross out. And basically all you got to do is 18 multiplied 100 and that's going that's going to give you 1800 milligrams per day. So we know how much the overall dose is going to be in milligrams. Step 3, divide the overall dose by the frequency. Well, let's take a look at the frequency. So 100 milligrams per day given once daily through an IV. Through an IV has, has no real re relevance to this question, but it says it's given once a day. But if it's 1800 milligrams given once a day, it's this step is already done for us as well because all we would be doing is dividing by one. So it's still going to be 1800 milligrams, but now we can scratch this off and put dose. And then um, for example, if it was BID, that's two doses. So we divide by two. TID, three doses. Divide by three. And then this step would be complete. In this case, it's only once a day. So it's divide by one. In other words, leave it the same. Check. And now it's just a simple medication calculation question, just as you would do for an adult. So calculate the dose in milliliters. Basically, and uh, th this is this is basically what we just discussed in, in uh, step three. 1800 milligrams a day is equal to 1800 milligrams per dose. So now we calculate um, just as we would for an adult. So we have our desired dose, 
which is 1800 milligrams. This is how much we want. Our on hand is, let's take a look at the question here. Our on hand is 40 milligrams per milliliter. So we take our on hand and put it at the bottom here. That's, that's just how the formula goes. Again, I have a video dedicated specifically on this step because it's the same, it's the same as for adults. And then it's for concentration of 40 milligrams per milliliter. So in this situation, it's going to be multiplied by one milliliter. We solve this math equation, very simple, 45 milliliters is our final answer. So that's all. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I'm usually pretty good at getting back to people. If uh, I think I might be doing a uh, dosage by surface area video, that should be coming out soon. And uh, subscri subscribe for new videos every week.